Hi guys, I'm back with another video. So today I'm gonna do a get ready with me, but today I'm gonna use products that have skin loving ingredients in them. These are gonna be perfect for the lady that uses makeup every day. And we all know with skincare, you have to use it daily over time for it to make a difference for us to kind of see a change in our skin. So these are gonna be products that have skin loving ingredients, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, some type of conditioning uh, ingredients in it, you name it, these products have it. You can still go and pick some makeup that's gonna be better for your skin and still come out looking glam. So anyway, with all that being said, let's get into the video. All right, so first up, I'm gonna start off with skincare. And I've used this particular cream before. This is the Inkyless Omega Water Cream. This is it. I love the way it feels on the skin. And another reason that I like to use it on makeup days is because I feel it as though it's really fast absorbing. And you can kind of see the difference in my skin as opposed to when I first applied it. All right, so next up, I'm gonna use the Inky List Caffeine Eye Cream, and this helps to reduce under eye puffiness. Comes in a little tube like this. And I'm just gonna place this right under my eyes. And I'm gonna go around just a little bit. All right, so for my eyebrows, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Brow Lift. This is it right here. And this is supposed to have some, some type of conditioning for your eyebrows. At least that's what's listed on the e.l.f. website. And it's clear like this. And the way that you use it, you just take the little spoolie and you kind of, you gotta bend it. And then get some on the spoolie and then you apply it to your brows. So my brows are pretty sparse. And let's say that I wanted to just leave them like this and not fill them in. With this particular uh, product, I feel as though it, it stays pretty good. I don't have anything else to compare it to. I do need to get some, some other type of uh, brow lifts and see what else is out there. All right, so next up for the brows, I'm just gonna fill them in just a little bit. I'm gonna use this eyebrow maker and I got this out of the beauty supply and this is the kind that has the tip that's like jagged, if you will, so you can make those fake eyebrow hairs and I'm going to do a couple on my hand. I hope this is showing up, but this is what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna fill my brows in a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna do the other side. All right, so now I'm going to carve out my brows. Again, this is something that you definitely don't have to do. I like to use concealer or either some type of eyeshadow base. I'm gonna use the Bright Future um, Gel Serum. This is it. And if you've been watching me for a while, you all know that this concealer is nothing new. Um, I've used it many, many times. I think it works really good for my skin. And when I say my skin, I'm talking about uh, mature skin. So if you don't have mature skin, if you got young skin, <laughs> young, beautiful, wrinkle-free, go ahead and start buying products that are better for your skin if you can afford it. A lot of times um, what I've noticed is that the products that have a lot of skincare ingredients in it, they can be a little bit more expensive. And that's just because it costs more to add all of that stuff. When you have products that have parabens, um, formaldehyde, all of that stuff, uh, those, those particular products are cheaper to make. So, but anyway, I digress. That's not what this is about. If you do have younger skin, try to get you some products that are gonna be good for your skin. All right, so now I'm just gonna take a sponge, a damp sponge, 
and blend this out. You know, I was watching a video and a young lady said that when she uses a sponge, she uses it dry. Um, if you've ever used the sponge to blend out your makeup and you used it dry and it worked for you, let me know. I don't know how to get that effect. I just found that interesting. All right, so I am gonna set this and I'm just gonna use the same powder that I'm going to use all over my face. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a Beauty Blender powder. This is it right here. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the foundation and I'm gonna use this foundation by Fashion Fair. This is a cream foundation. I have a video where I reviewed this foundation. I'll try to put it down below if you wanna check it out, see the wear test. And this is what it looks like. So I am going to use a brush. You can use like a, um, a sponge or a pad or whatever, but I'm gonna start out by using a brush. And then after that, I'll kind of blend it out probably with a sponge. At the end of the day, you have to use whatever tool or product that works best for your skin tone. The most I can do is, you know, kind of review it and tell you how it worked for me. Okay, so. And I really like using this one because I think that it has good coverage, but at the same time, you can get a nice uh, natural look with it. Okay, before I finish adding the foundation, I'm gonna just carve out my brows at the top. And I'm just using the cream foundation. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying the foundation. Just kind of blending that out. And I'm gonna add just a little bit more down on my chin. All right, and for bronzer, I'm gonna use this Sun, Sun Dreams Bronzer by Pacifica. I'm gonna glass jar like this. And this is the shade. I kind of feel as though this one has a little bit of a red undertone, just a little bit. So if that's not your cup of tea, you might want to Pick a different shade. All right, so now I'm gonna add a little concealer and the concealer that I'm gonna use is by Glossier. This is the shade. I'm just gonna add it with a brush. And this stuff is so creamy, it goes on so well. And I'm just using it to highlight in my normal places. And when you're blending out your products, you can use whatever works best for you. I know you're probably getting tired of me saying that, but you can use, honestly, just use whatever you feel comfortable with. And to set my under eye, I'm gonna use this powder by Milani. This is it. All right, and to kind of wipe that away, I'm just gonna use a brush.
And I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and kind of blend in the makeup on it. Okay, my camera cut off and I'm not sure where it cut off, but let me wipe some more of that powder off. All right, so for eyeshadow, I'm just gonna use a bronzer. This is Sephora's bronzer. And I'm just gonna get a little on a brush and just put it in a crease. Okay, got that done. When you're doing your makeup, do you make a big mess? I make the biggest mess. I wish y'all could see <laughs> the mess that I have. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with a, a blush, and this is a cream blush, and yes, you can apply some. Some creams do play well with other folks. This particular cream by Milani, um, you can definitely put it over a powder. This is it. This is the cream blush that I'm gonna use. Alright, so for a highlighter, I'm going to use this cream highlighter by Mango. And this looks so pretty on. You see how that looks? That is gorgeous. It looks really natural. Okay, got that done. Alright, so next up, I'm going to go ahead and apply my lipstick. I'm going to use this Lip Veil lipstick by Shataka. This is it. This is the color. So, do you notice how even though I use powder, I haven't sprayed or anything, my skin still looks glowy. A lot of it is due to this particular highlighter by Mango. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of powder bronzer, the Sephora bronzer. That's so pretty. Okay. Now let's go ahead and pop these lashes on. All right, so I'm back. Got the lashes on and the eyeliner. Now it's time for some setting spray. And I'm going to use the Radiant Setting Spray by Neutrogena. Let me just shake it up. Okay, let's I'm gonna let that do what it's going to do. As you can see, it doesn't have the best sprayer on there, but you can still work with it. All right, guys, this is the final look. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these products, and if so, how well you like them. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in, and until my next video, smooches.